To remove the leg of mutton cut from the brisket, I'm going to follow the natural seam between the muscles. And that removes the leg of mutton cut from the whole brisket. The brisket now needs to be trimmed and boned ready for rolling. Removing the wedge of fat Remove the thick, coarse connective tissue from over the skirt muscle. And lift the skirt muscle up from over cartilage tips of the rib bones. Small muscles can be removed for further trimming at a later stage be used in further processing. Along the breast or sternum bone, I'm just going to cut into that fat to release the muscle. And then proceed to take out the ribs individually or as in this case sheeted out in one piece. Following the ribs right the way down come off in one big sheet. The meat or muscles between the ribs can be trimmed out at a later stage, again for use in further processing. Now that the brisket is totally boneless, we need to trim down to an acceptable lean level, removing any large pockets of fat or connective tissue. And when necessary, just lifting up a sheet of muscle to remove the fat from underneath.
Having removed all the internal fat to an acceptable level, finally just thin down any of the, the bosom fat. making sure that it's all of an even thickness. And now the brisket is ready for rolling. If the diameter of the brisket is too large, we have the option of dividing it into two. and each section can be rolled individually. The brisket is now ready for cutting into required joint size.